Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? So I am going to be doing a different video today, kind of reacting to some news that I've been hearing about in these YouTube streets, so social media in general, okay? So I received a text message from someone, I don't know if she wants me to tell her name so I ain't gonna say it because she's also on these YouTube streets, <laughs> but you know who you are girl. And I didn't read it until this morning and I was like, hold up. Seriously? Basically, those of you who are not familiar, my yell is back in the news, baby. Back on the news. Um, so apparently there have been tons of women, natural hair, not necessarily natural hair. There is some issues going on with her products, and specifically it is the Rosemary line, and it seems to be consistently with the rosemary oil it's that growth oil if i remember correctly um so and i know that particular product went like i don't know i don't want to say it went viral a couple of years ago was it last year or a couple of years ago but they were eating it up buying the product like crazy which good for her so i'm gonna give y'all my opinion of the story and kind of share some pictures and some information that i found out about this particular I don't want to say I don't want to say too much because I don't need no one coming for me or my pockets okay my L organics is headed up by um, Monique and is it, is it Marvin or Melvin yeah I'm, I'm messing up his name Rodriguez okay she is on social media she's on Instagram a lot and so yeah and the reason why I'm talking about this now is because her she made a post I believe yesterday about the allegations that they have apparently changed their formula um and those of you who don't know uh my yell was purchased by png which is procto and gamble they are the same company that does loves pampers um ozzy what else um my black is beautiful is ran by procto and gamble pantene and etc all right so they purchased it in january of 2023 and of course a lot of us meaning a lot of uh women of color were like oh my gosh you know to us it's like that's it that things gonna change um there were a couple of comments of course they're selling out they're selling out one thing i do want to mention y'all is that this is not uncommon once you get to a certain level and you need that that distribution at a different level that costs money and so this is not necessarily a black or white thing of them versus us the only color these folks see is green this is business um it happened with a lot of other companies as we know about Cantu, Shea Moisture there are so many uh companies out there that we assume but I think most of y'all know by now that we are assume or ran by people of color and they are not um with that being said if you're someone who is adamant on having black owned products make sure you stick to small companies small business okay that's all I have to say because most of them sooner or later they have no other choice but to sell their business so that they can get that money and get that support to make sure that their products you know Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that, okay? So I, I, I've seen the narrative that it's a sellout, and that's really not the case. It's just business. It is what it is. Overall, um, and I'm going to get to what I've been finding. Um, in addition to that, there is a lawsuit, a civil, is it a civil lawsuit pending? Because apparently, I don't know if it's specifically with this line. Again, this is the Rosemary Mint line. Um, but there are some products that apparently went against... Um, a proposition to where they did not disclose that one of their products can cause cancer. So there is a, I think it's like Prop 65 is where they violated that. This has been going on apparently for a while. And I heard about it, you know, circulating. And then it was like, okay, I didn't hear about it. But now recently the TikTok girls, baby. And so here lately, the TikTokers are really sharing their their um, experiences again with this particular line and this one particular product um and like I stated I'm seeing pictures and I'm gonna show a picture down here I believe this young woman is more than likely she is of Asian descent you can clearly see the differences in her hair it is thinning um what I'm hearing primarily is that 
you have women hair that is coming out in clumps. Um, you have women there, there where their scalp is irritated. I'm hearing of chemical burns. I remember chemical burns. So that, you know when we used to perm, chemical burns. I'm hearing that women hair is not only is it falling out in clumps, it's just falling out like they're shedding. Their hair is becoming brittle and hard. Their hair follicle hair follicles excuse me are damaged and once you damage your hair follicles correct me if I'm wrong I believe that's it I don't know I don't necessarily know if there's any turning back from that but this is my take on it and I always look at things you guys I try to look at things from a broad spectrum and not just one-sided if that makes sense I'm not going to dismiss these women who are clearly having issues with this product and even though um we are being told that the formula did not change i have a feeling that there may have been some things because i believe that once it's at a certain the ingredients they don't have to disclose all the ingredients so if something were to change that was minor we wouldn't know about it okay I also feel like if it was really that minor, then it possibly couldn't affect what we're seeing right now. I personally feel like something did change. Whether it be something big or small, something had to have change. Um, whether it be how the actual products are being, not necessarily the formula, but how they are being made. Um, a lot of things, you know, you have to take into consideration the, the temperature, um, and where the product is being distributed at what change um, so again I, I find it hard to dismiss all these women who are having issues in this one particular product I also feel like there are some women that because I was seeing some comments saying oh they're not using it right or oh they may already have issues so I do feel like that there are some women who perhaps are not using the product correctly because this is a product that apparently you're supposed to use with a carrier oil. And from what I understand, those instructions are not listed on the product. So you're not supposed to use this a lot. This is almost like a treatment. And again, you use it with a carrier oil so you don't get any burns. So there's that, you know, there's those women who are perhaps not using it right. There are um, perhaps some women, because I did hear, see this comment that a lot of black women in general, we are lacking on the vitamin side, especially vitamin D. Um, perhaps we're lacking those vitamins that are attributing to the hair fallout. I saw another comment of, of a woman saying, well, you know, you're going through postpartum shedding. Yeah, that could be it too, but not everybody's going through postpartum shedding. Again, I find it hard. I'm not going to dismiss these claims. Not everybody's going through postpartum shedding. Not everyone has a vitamin deficiency, even though a lot of black women do, or people of color, I should say. Not every black woman has a vitamin deficiency. Um, and so I just, I'm, I'm just kind of like, hmm. Not only that, but I still feel like the business owners, even though their intentions may be good in the past, they have had some shady dealings. We all know about the ordeal that happened with Linda, getting to all of that, but there were other past incidents where there was stuff going on, comments were being deleted, orders were being delayed, but I will, I think now that's not happening as much. I guess my, my, the reason why I'm bringing it up, they have a history of not being forthright and so i want to say this i do not delight in anybody's downfall i want everyone to win i the reason why i say this is that i don't have to necessarily agree with someone or stand by what they you know what they stand for or even have you know have a certain opinion that doesn't mean that I'm I'm still sitting back and saying, ha ha, that's what she gets. I am not like that. Again, I hope they figure out what's wrong and they can go ahead and, and correct the issue if it's an issue that needs to be corrected. Um, if not, then y'all just stop using the product. Look, because I noticed that some women said that they were having an issue and they kept using it. Let me tell you something. If you have a negative reaction to any type of product, please immediately stop using it. It doesn't make any sense to continue to use a product 
that is clearly not good for you let me know what you guys think um are you guys using products still by my yell have you used any products from this particular line so let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below and thank you so much for watching take care bye